Tell me, why did the German Luftwaffe keep using 87 octane gasoline while the British used 100 octane in their Spitfires and the American used 130 octane in their P-51 and other fighters? This is an article by the British Society of Chemists, declassified in 2014. It seems that the German and British aircraft both used 87 octane gasoline in the first two years of the war. While that was fairly satisfactory in the German Daimler Benz V12 engine, it was marginally in the British aircraft using the Rolls Royce Merlin engines. It fouled spark plugs, caused valves to stick, and made frequent engine repair necessary. Then came Lend Lease, and American aircraft began to enter British service in great numbers. If British engines hated 87 octane gasoline, General Motors built Allison 1710 engines, loathed and despised it. Something had to be done. Along came an American named Tim Palooka, a chemist for sun oil in their southeast Texas refinery. Never heard of him? Small wonder. Very few people have. He took a French formula for enhancing the octane of gasoline and invented the cracking tower and produced 100 octane aviation gasoline. This discovery led to great joy among our English cousins and great distress among the Germans. A Spitfire fueled with 100 octane gasoline was 34 miles per hour faster at 10,000 feet. The need to replace engines went from every 500 hours of operation to every 1,000 hours thus reducing the cost of British aircraft, and even more when used in four-engine bombers. The Germans couldn't believe it when Spitfires that couldn't catch them a year ago started shooting their ME-109 E and G models right out of the sky. Of course, the matter had to be kept secret. If the Germans found out it was a French invention, they'd simply copy the original French patents. If any of you have ever wondered what they were doing in that three-story white brick building in front of the Sun Oil Refinery on Old Highway 90, that was it. They were reinventing gasoline. The American Allison engines improved remarkably with 100-octane gasoline, but it did much better when 130-octane gasoline came along in 1944. The 130 octane also improved output from radial engines in the bombers we produced. The Germans and Japanese never snapped to the fact that we had reinvented gasoline. Neither did our friends the Russians. 100,000 Americans died in the skies over Europe. Lord only knows what that number would have been without super gasoline. And it was all invented just a few miles west of Beaumont, Texas. And we never knew anything about it.